Judge, today's case is Sugar Daddy. He is intelligent, he is strong. She is bright, she is beautiful. She's also 27 years younger than him. I wonder how this is gonna work out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Adam Phillips and Bianca Tony. The two of you have been together for three and a half years, living together for two years. Mr. Phillips, you are 55. Ms. Tony, you are 27. <laughs> you don't think you're gonna make it, so as you leave, Mr. Phillips, you want that flat screen TV. Yes, I and do. And that's what you've come here for. Absolutely. So, uh, before we talk about that, I want to talk a little bit about your relationship. So, Mr. Phillips, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? We are here today because of preconceived notions, judgments, and misconceptions. But tell me Be about them all. Because you stated, and as you stated, there is like a 27-year age difference between the two of us. So, people who don't even know us automatically assume that I'm some sort of a sugar daddy, and mm -hmm. it's a sugar daddy relationship. Mm -hmm. Why that incenses me so is because I am not a sugar daddy. The fact that I'm older than yeah, her he is... he doesn't have any money. Is a... Uh, <laughs> <mere person. laughs> oh! That hurt me all the way over here! And it wasn't even directed this way! Whoa! Is definitely true, and in addition to that, I might piggyback and add, even though we live together, I'm not getting any sugar. Yeah. At all? I am hypoglycemic right now, is what I'm trying to tell you. I like him already. <laughs> if you catch my drift. You mean to tell me you two have been living together for two years and there's no sexual relationship there at all? There is no yep. sexual relationship at all. We have intimacy, we do not have sex. She wants to be married before we have sex. Ms. Tony, tell me, a 27-year age difference, yeah. that's huge. How do you... <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's... So what do you have to say? <laughs> well, first, uh, I, I think it's quite odd to mm -hmm. people outside looking in because they look at me and they're like, you're very young and he's much older. But, you know, to me, he's very sweet and there are things that I like about him. But then there are also things that I don't like, which is why we're here right now. Okay, tell me about some of those things you don't like. Okay, so when we first moved in together, I came home from work and I noticed Adam was just sitting there. He gets home hours before me, like at least, I would say at least three to four hours before me. And he's literally just sitting at the table, and I'm like, why are you sitting at the table? He's like, I'm waiting for you to make me something to eat. Yes. I was like, just order some takeout. And he's like, no, you should cook. That's woman's work. That's something that you should do. Yes. Yeah. Mr. A M M Mr. Phillips, did you say that? I may have said that once, and I quickly changed the error of my way. So what I... <laughs> I yeah. figured that if I don't change the air of my ways with the quickness, I ain't never gonna get any sugar. Right, I right, right. Cooking. I so you let that alone. You learned your lesson oh, and learned let my that alone. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Right. I started making stofers. I started making <laughs> grilled cheese. <laughs> I started getting Boston Market uh, pepper steak. And Finding a way. Yeah. Finding a way because she had a valid point. We both do work, and I do get home before her. But that's not the the crux of the problems of our relationship. What's the crux, the crux of the problem? The crux would be we met some years ago, 2013, on a set of some TV show where I was a chess teacher and she was a student. Okay. She became interested in chess and we exchanged social media information and... Oh, look at that. And we... Uh, look, look, look behind you, it's a cute uh, picture. Yeah, no. yeah, that's As a on. cute picture. You studying the board? She's, yeah. She's Jesus. Ask yeah. why I'm studying the board. Oh! Yeah, that's you didn't ask why I'm picture. studying. Why are you studying? Because I taught her and now she beats me. Ooh. She's a very, very, very quick learner. She's a critical thinker. She's good on her feet. She stops. She knows consequences and she knows I taught her only too well how to think before you move. Now, where she gets upset with me as far as us getting to the next stage of engagement and marriage is I'm thinking before I move. Wow. 
Real talk. I like y'all already. I don't, know, I don't care what else happens in this session. I'm enjoying the nature of the conversation altogether. It's a whole <laughs> different kind of thing going on. Well, now, Ms. Ms. Tony, who's really dragging their feet on the marriage part? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mr. Phillips? Yes. There are are you dragging your feet? I am not dragging my feet. I'm biding my time and making sure that I do this properly. This will be, not would, will be my third marriage. Um. And this will be my first if we get right, Correct. right, right. Uh, her. So you want to make sure, so I want to make sure I am sure I have people who are against it. I have her people, her family, who is against it. I have my son, who unfortunately is older than her, yeah. who is also not really gung ho about it, shall we say? Speaking of which, we do have him available by Skype. No way. Yes, we do. So it's hard uh, to meet again. How did you get him? Hey, we work hard over here. Apparently. Uh, Stephen Phillips, how are you, sir? Hello, Your Honor. I'm doing just fine. Bianca Tony, she seems like a delightful young lady. Why are you against this union, or are you against this union? So, Your Honor, respectfully, I do not like the union. In fact, I am against it for the mere reason that one, she's my age. Two, her and my father have very little in common. And three, if she wasn't with my father, I would have bagged that a long time ago. So. <laughs> Excuse me, I am still your father. Apologies, Man, Dad, really? but I'm just, I'm just being frank. I'm just you went all it out the way there, there Mr. Phillips. Oh, Thank you for my. the flattery, but she's taken. Now, Mr. Phillips, younger, the younger I'm going to call you, Stephen, because I got two Mr. <laughs> Phillips here. Do you get along with her, though? Is there, is, if your father does marry her, w do you think it would be a happy union? Is it something you would support, even though it's not initially something you liked? Well, in fact, my father, I, I do see that he's happier, but it's hard for me to be happy for him because she's, she's much younger than him. I mean, I'm, I'm having thoughts about her. It's, it's not normal when you have thoughts about, you know, your stepmother, so it's... It's, it's hard for me to be happy. Oh, well, that was very honest. Thank you for that, Stephen. Mr. Mr. Phillips, do you have anything you'd like to say to your yes, son? Yes, I do. We so got to right talk. Go right ahead. We got to talk. You ain't too big to beat. We got to talk. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Now, you got to be prepared for more of that, Miss, Miss, Miss Tony. You know, my husband and I, we get nothing. I'm 60 years old. We be like, yeah, baby, we can go to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, we excited, right? Nine, 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 Let's take a nap. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, it's just like, we really want to sleep. It was like, yeah. Are you concerned as you look 20 years down the road, 40, 30 years down the road, that this age difference will be so great that you will be caring for an elderly parent as opposed to growing old with the man that you chose? I do think about that sometimes. I wonder where he'll be when I'm 55. It does cross my mind. but. As it stands, he doesn't have any health conditions, and I do try to make sure that, you know, we work out and we eat healthy because I do want him to be here for the long run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is why I try to make sure no soda, very little sugar, stay healthy, checkups every six months, uh, lots of cardio, health. But that don't stop time. Time? Mm -hmm. Even if we only wind up having 20 good years together, some couples who get married or who are together for a while, they don't even get 20 good years together. Mm -hmm. So I will take 20 healthy, happy, compatible, despite what my son said, years. We have compatibility to spare. We dance. I taught her how to do the dance to hustle. Are you familiar with the dance to hustle? I am indeed. I'm five the years older York than you. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I taught her how to do the hustle. <laughs> there we are. That's us right there. That's us. <laughs> I taught her that in Champ, New York City. But I do things that he likes, but he doesn't like to do things that I like. It's, it, Here it comes. What things that do you like that he won't do? 
Okay, so I'm a Halloween baby. I was born on Halloween. So for Halloween, it's my birthday and I have a Halloween party. Right. So I was having a Halloween party and I invited some friends over and we were having a good time. And he's over there snoring, sleeping in the corner. And I'm like, you can't do this. You know, we're hosting people. You can't be sleeping at the party. So I said, okay, let's slow things down. Let's play a little bit of Jenga. This man falls asleep on the Jenga blocks, and obviously if the blocks fall down, you lose, so we lost. Yeah. <laughs> now you got to be prepared for more of that, Miss, <laughs> Miss, Miss Tony. You know, my husband and I, we getting up there. I'm 60 years old, we be like, yeah, baby, we can go to bed at nine o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, we excited, right? Was in there. Right. Let's take a nap, yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, like, and we really want to sleep, and he was like, yeah. You know, my... That, the sun doesn't need to be down in order to go to bed. Years ago, 20 years ago, my best friend was Budweiser. Today, my best friend is chamomile tea. I tell you, <laughs> I think it's changed. Chamomile tea, it relaxes you. Little... You know he's not going to be able to roll hard. But he has to roll like hard you... because he's rolling with me. I'm his partner. Yeah, but 65 is 65 is 65. I know you're only 55, but with right. 10 years away, I'm, I'm presuming a healthy life. It's still what it is. You know what I mean? If he's, he's, he's napping now... <laughs> 65. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Has he been separated from her for a while? Yes. I have. You have? Separated, divorced. Yeah, separated, divorced, and not Chief, together. Chief. Do, do, you, do you still have feelings for any of your exes? I do not. I do not. None I do not. Uh oh. I do. Are you unsure, Ms. Tony? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. You say that his family tolerates you but really believes in their heart of hearts that you're a rebound for him. Yes. Who is he rebounding from? Um, his second wife. And has he been separated from her for a while? Uh, I would think so, yes. I have. You have? Separated, divorced. Yeah, separated, divorced, and not Chief, together. Chief. Do, do, you, do you still have feelings for any of your exes? I do not. I do not. None I do uh -oh. not. I do. Are you unsure, Ms. Tony? No, I just wanted to make sure because, you know, now since, you know, he has to tell the truth, we in court, I had to make I sure. I do not. You do not? I do not. It not is at all. It is important, however, for a man to have a civil relationship with the mother of his children. Absolutely. For I those agree 100%. Of you who do not know, thank you. 100%. Thank you. 100%. For those of you who do not know, I have four children, one of which you met, and I have five grandchildren. So the camaraderie that I have with them is important. Absolutely. They need to know that there's a strong male figure in their life that checks on them on a daily basis. Let the whole church say amen. Amen. I'm right with you on that. That's right. And like, Let me and ask like, you this, Mr. Phillips. Sure. Have you asked yourself why these prior two marriages... Because you seem like a reasonable dude. Why these prior two marriages didn't work? Is there a common denominator? Is there a theme? Sometimes some couples, unfortunately, can outgrow each other. It could be career choices. It could be one wants to live in California, one wants to live in New York. It could be irreconcilable differences. Now, the last one I had, luckily, thank God, lasted 16 years. Uh -huh. So my reluctance or my apprehension or my caution, I gave her a promise ring, and I'm going and to I keep my promise. Right, and I'm going to keep my promise. But I don't want to rush into it because an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that we're sure. What are you still unsure about? I am, it's not that I'm unsure, it's that I don't get any support from, as you see, my oh, son family. and from her parents. I go over the house, she's of Haitian descent. I went there for Thanksgiving, big elaborate dinner, nobody's speaking to me, they're speaking in Creole. I don't happen to speak Creole. They were offended because some of the Creole dishes I didn't really like. Cotton too, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's just kind of hot, kind of spicy. Yeah, I yeah, like my yeah. food spicy too, but, but that's since spicy, it's Thanksgiving, yeah. I kept it safe. Macaroni and cheese, yams, stuffing, <laughs> turkey. turkey. 
So they were like, we made all this fancy stuff, lumby and black rice. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good with just this. So they start speaking Creole, and the only other word that they said in English was Adam, which leads me to believe <laughs> they was talking about, about you. About me. <laughs> Yeah, Which is very uncomfortable. Yeah, do you speak Creole? I do. They're Were they cool. talking about him? Mm. Mm. You're on TV now. Uh huh. Were they talking about him? Look at that smile. <laughs> all, all nice things, of course. All nice things, of course. <laughs> yes. Let me ask you this question. Do you want children? Of course, yes. Do you want more children? I am open to it, but it is not at the top of my list, no. I mean... That's as, on that's as honest as When my youngest left the house, my husband and I bought a new smaller house so he wouldn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You, you love him. Love all of them. But at, at some point, you get tired of these people. Do you, do you, do you, are you ready to start that 20-year ride again? I mean... Because it's important to her. Children are such a blessing, I can't see why he wouldn't want to. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had teenagers yet. No. Amen. I'm <laughs> right? a babysitter, so I know what it's like to be around kids. No! <laughs> if there's anything that, and I hope it doesn't, because I do love her very much, if there's anything that will drive a final wedge between us and make us go separate ways, it won't be the age difference. It won't what will be, it be? It will be the fact that in my heart of hearts, I really don't want any more children. So I would, I would acquiesce and I would you do it. You didn't tell me that before if, we got here that you didn't want any more if, children? In my heart of hearts, if it happened, it happened and I would welcome the blessing. But it would not be something that I would set out and try to do. He's just not telling me this. He never told me that he didn't want him. You guys have to have that conversation because because children are serious business. Why didn't you tell me that before? Why didn't you tell me you was flirting with my son? I was never flirting with him. That's what uh, I'm gonna talk to him. He's an admirer of me. I'm not an admirer of of him. Why didn't you tell me this? All right, all right, all right. You my favorite couple in a while. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I think you are intelligent, charming. Interesting, well spoken, considerate, considered people that I would enjoy knowing on a regular basis, not just in here. I just think, I just, I like your sense of humor. I like your sense of calm. I, I, I think you're both terrific people. I'm concerned, however, about that age difference. I know how important it was for me to have kids. And I know how, what a struggle it is to have kids when you're older. And you guys got to make show, show, faux show you on the same page with that. Because, you know, taking little Johnny out to T-ball at 65 (laughs) is more than a notion. You know what I mean? I wish I could make this magically work. I just... Because I've already given it three years of my youth. Yeah. Well, Uh, you got more youth than he's got, so... (laughs) You're all right. You're doing just fine. Donna. Based on her last statement and your rebuttal, if we've established nothing else here today, we have established that I am old. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Phillips. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Best of luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.